Good morning, everyone, and welcome again to my reading corner. Today's nugget is true worship activates the ministry of angels on our behalf. Looking at the account of Paul and Silas in Acts 16, 25 to 26, they were physically bound, but because worship has nothing to do with location or situation, but rather has everything to do with the heart, they focused on God Almighty and worshipped. As they worshipped, the presence of the Lord overwhelmed the place where they were and their chains were broken. Hallelujah. It is important to note that our heart is the altar from where worship goes as a sweet smelling savor to the Lord. The ministry of angels was activated on their behalf. Also, considering the account of the Israelites going to war in 2 Chronicles 20, 16 to 17, singers were set in front of the armies as they worshipped. Angels went ahead of them to cause confusion in the camp of their enemy. Worship excites angels because that is what they do. The moment we begin to worship, we get their attention, and that is when they mobilize to act on our behalf. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We've got some scripture references. I'll read the first one, and it's Acts 16, 25 to 26 from the King James Version. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them, and suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loosed. Praise God. Hallelujah. The second, the second scripture reference is from Second Chronicles 20, 17 to 23, and I'm reading again from the King James Version. He shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand he still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They fell before the Lord, worshipping the Lord, and the Levites of the children of Kohathites and of the children of the Koraitites stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and he inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall he be established. Believe his prophets, so shall he prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord, and that should praise the beauty of holiness. As they went out before the army, and to say, Praise the Lord, for his mercy endured forever. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah. And they were smitten, for the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped to destroy another. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you for joining us once again for another episode of my 30 nuggets on true worship. Please join us again for the next episode of my